am. I am here for the world's first what's day. And it is all about speaking about you and the questions you're asking me. So we're going to keep this straight down to the questions. There's no supercard gameplay in here at all. I'm just going to keep this purely to your questions and what you've asked in the YouTube comments. So let me just run through what what state is without hopefully getting a network error on Supercard because that would be dreadful at the moment. Um, what stay in Supercard is basically um, my way of giving you a Q&A section. Basically so you can ask me questions you want and in the future it's going to be just 10 questions I'm going to answer per time. Um, so it's not going to be something where you can just ask infinite questions because we'll be here for hours talking about it and that's really and truthfully what streams are for let's be honest um, so I'm going to keep this purely to um, us talking about um, the questions you've asked it could be anything at all as long as it starts with the word what in capital letters so WHAT and we're going to do this every Wednesday um, obviously that I can I can do of course uh, next Wednesday is going to be fine the following Wednesday will be tricky so it'll be on and off to start off or start with but hoping to make it a regular thing on the channel so every Wednesday you have that um, I will answer as many questions as I can what I can't tell you is I'll answer every question because there are going to be some questions that you're going to ask me that I cannot physically answer because of personal reasons or one of well, two other things but feel free to ask what you want to unless it's really stupid if it's really stupid or really personal I'm not going to answer it and you may be disappointed with the, 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 uh, the response that I give you so I'm just going to keep that just, just there so every Wednesday and it'll be on Monday I'll announce when the uh, questions come in but effectively, you, if you answer, ask questions between now and the next Monday, it, I'm not going to take them into consideration because it's going through too many different YouTube videos. Uh, feel free to ask me a question directly on, on Twitter. That's absolutely fine. Twitter link is in the description. Alternatively, um, just get you Monday and Tuesday's videos, put your questions in, and I will then answer them. So we're going to get down to business, and this is going to be uh, interesting. So um, just to let you know, um, I obviously I'm like a very, very, very basic hardware at the moment. So I've literally just got a window um, recorder, which I've got here. So everything that I do is going to be recorded off this monitor. Uh, so I'm going to keep it as brief as possible but sometimes you're going to see a little bit of tech, uh, me doing a little bit of tech in terms of pulling up and putting down images and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to start off with let's look at Red Snake. So Red Snake says what do, you, what do you think the next tier is going to be? Uh, I, I'd be amazed if they did a Summer Slam tier. I think at their best it would be a Slam tier. But I think it'd be a champions tier. I think that's the only way they can go. A summer slam tier wouldn't make the biggest amount of sense. Purely because WrestleMania is designed to be the pinnacle of um the wrestling. Um it's supposed to be the point where you all want to get to as a either a WrestleMania, uh so a wrestling fan or a wrestler or anyone who's involved in the wrestling business, WrestleMania is the event. Um <laughs> so let's go there's a couple of ones that I can't answer uh, but what is one plus two it is free um, okay a couple of bits of bad language um, someone said do you work yes uh, next question okay what would you say is the rough amount of points you would need to get to a top 200 place in the PCC um, my advice and this sub zero guy seems to be uh, answering all my questions um, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this guy's comments. Remove. Um, it depends what happens with the new tier. I mentioned in the last video that there is, I believe, there's going to be more emphasis on PCC in the future in terms of being the one place you can get that one pro that is going to make your deck amazing until, um, as I mentioned, ring domination currently employs this tactic of having one card per event with both events allowing you to have the pro version of the event card i think in the future it's going to be more gauged towards that with ring with the ring domination and road to glory and pcc is going to be the ultimate competition where you get the pro card if you finish in the top 200 
I personally think if that happens, they would increase the top uh, spacing, uh, so placing to 300 or 250. And what they'll, they'll mean is that more people will end up going for these event cards. Currently, you need to be on 5,000 points at the end of each day if you're going for the top 200. If you are at the end of Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, um, at 5,000 points made for each day, so I mean you're 15,000 points, you should comfortably get the card. But it does depend on what time zone you're in. If you're in America, I know for example, PCC can sometimes start for you when you're asleep. So you may want to go for maybe a bit more of a harder push on the first day, maybe get six or seven and a half thousand points, and then move on from there. But I would aim for 20,000 points. If by the end of day three, day, day three, uh, three, you are in a position where you can kind of relax, do so. But I would at least aim to be on 15,000 points by the end of day three, definitely. Um, let's have a look. Okay. So Supercard Blake has asked, "What what do you think of the new update?" You, uh, I'm going to try and get. I'm going to gonna try and get Undertaker with no pig doublers. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Um, anyway, uh, what do you think of the new update? Uh, it's cool. I don't really know what you're asking there, Blake. Um, I I think that the new the, the the chat working is good, but yeah, I'm not really going to. Like, I can't really answer that question. I think it's decent, but. Hopefully the newest update will include a bit more, maybe a couple of additional bits. I'd like to see the graphical graphic user interface, the uh, the bit at the beginning of Supercard, because it's been there for a long time, and I think it needs a, a refresh. Um, what do I think about Kevin Owens? Comes from David Titan Strider. Thank you for the question. Um, he's not being used in the best way, but I still think that WWE have got a plan for him. Um, putting him against Cena and having such amazing matches against Cena someone wouldn't just do that because he was a flash in the pan um, I don't like that Randy Orton used a fat joke about him on Monday I think that's quite disrespectful to a guy who is actually a better performer than he is um, especially for Randy Orton who has been stale and is basically let's be honest about one set of moves and hasn't really evolved as a character for what we're talking 15 to I had to say the last 15 to 20 months Orton's been stale I'd say Kevin Owens has a right more of a rightful place on the roster than Randy Orton has just my opinion alright um, but yeah my opinion Kevin Owens is he is going to be going in for something big soon I'd say give him the Intercontinental Championship or the US Championship, depending on what happens after SummerSlam. Here's a question for you guys. Who do you think is going to win SummerSlam? Because this now building up to that big event. Are you a Brock fan? Are you a Taker fan? Um, are you going to be looking at, hopefully, Cena retaining and getting the World Heavyweight Championship? Or would you say the Rollins would be better unifying both championships and maybe there being a brand new design of championship? Who knows? Um, anything could happen. My thoughts on that, uh, somebody that actually asked me in the questions, are uh, that I think that Rollins is going to win and it's going to unify and remove the United States uh, title from circulation, which brings more emphasis on the NXT Championship. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that uh, took more precedence in the future. Uh, what part of the world, from Nick Barbosa, what part of the world do, world do you live in? Well, I've asked this question beforehand, but I live in the southeast of England in the United Kingdom. I live in a place called Essex. Um, I'm not your typical Essex person. Um, most people who who come from Essex can relate to that. Um, yeah, uh, I'm from a pretty okay area. Um, there's a couple of places you can probably look at. There's an area called Chelmsford where I live close to, but I'm not going to tell you exactly where I live because that's a bit too personal. But yeah, I'm, I'm in a place called Essex, near a place called Chelmsford in the United Kingdom. That's probably as much as I can say. Um, Sam said best of the wrestling fair. It says, what is your favourite card in the event and what is my favourite event? So I almost mis misread that. Uh, and he said, congratulations on the PCC first place. Thanks, Sam Ted. Um, my favourite card in the game uh, is 
Ooh, I'd have to say the United States version, championship version of John Cena. In terms of design, in terms of the actual card, I'd have to say Fusion Pro Triple H. Um, purely because I just love the design. If you were talking about purely the picture that's on there, it would have to be Eddie Guerrero. So if it was purely the picture and the way it's been built, I'd say Eddie Guerrero in the WrestleMania tier. I'd say um, the, my favorite card, as in the card card, would be uh, the overall design of it, would be the WrestleMania uh, Fusion. Um, no, so I'm gonna reverse, uh, reverse tangled here, apologies guys. Okay, so if you're talking about the picture of the superstar and the overall card design, I'd say the, the Eddie Guerrero card in WrestleMania is the best as a tribute to him. If we talk about all cards, it would be um, the uh, WrestleMania PCC John Cena card because of the United States background in the background. It is probably one of the most the nicest cards I've seen. Um, and the last one in terms of the actual favorite card, my favorite personal card, is definitely a hundred percent Fusion Pro Triple H. Just purely because I love the design of it. He looks intimidating as hell. Um, my favorite event would have to be Ring Domination because it's the only event really that gives you... Um, PCC takes up a lot of my time. I have a lot of time I have to dedicate to work. Um, I have a, a girlfriend, a family, I have other things to do. It, it's not the most sociable of events. Ring Domination, I think, takes the difficulty that should have been in Road to Glory and the time element plus the um, the picks from PCC and combines it together to, in my opinion, the best possible result, which you know, I believe is ring domination. That's my personal favorite event. The fact that they've doubled the picks only makes me happier. Yes, more people get the card, but the difficulty is still up there. So it's still gonna be difficult for people to get it without spending money. Especially if they've got a lower deck. Um, okay, so... <laughs> Barry, uh, what is your opinion on Dannon's hair? Uh, I have no opinion on Dannon's hair other than he's bald as hell. Um, no, he... Dannon seems like a nice guy, so I'm not going to say anything bad or detrimental about him, but yeah, he's... Um, yeah, pretty bald. Um... <laughs> Andrea Owen says, what would you like in Supercards? What would I like in Supercard? I would like a, another event, uh, maybe a fourth event, something that encompasses uh, the deck strategy again. I think that is a big, big uh, thing. I think it needs to last less time as well. At the moment, all events last over the weekend. I think this one should just be literally a Saturday, Sunday thing. Or alternatively, have events that last, a new event that lasts the entire week so from Monday to Sunday or Monday to Friday but be an overall goal so play X amount of games or win X amount of games and you will get this objective which gives you so close to the login awards uh, rewards not awards uh, rewards so um, if you played a thousand games between Monday and for Sunday you got a WrestleMania card um, if you won 2,000 games you would get, I don't know, an extra 50 pick doublers in your next ring, ring domination. Something like that that's going to reward people playing it. I don't think think the um, the ladder rewards actually benefit you enough to warrant you playing as much as you people do. I mean, I only just got legendary legendary uh, rewards, John Cena. So I think you had a, a, a benefit to you know, make people want to play the game more. That would help but maybe have those same benefits. You've got to reward people not only just for going into events and playing them and getting pick doublers and um, point doublers and things like that. You've got to reward people who play the game religiously. And uh, that's my number one thing I finished bringing the game is better appreciation for the people who play the game. Um, so that's me personally. It's just an event or something that will benefit people who play the game on a regular basis. Not a crappy survivor John Cena, which has no benefit to you at all. Uh, Anthony Lee says, what do you think of the condition of Edward's neck? Um, I've spoken to Ed personally in the last couple of days. He's recovering. Um, 
I'm, I'm joking. Um, Edward is absolutely fine. The neck jokes are not directed towards him. It's just a thing. And thankfully, he now understands that. It's No one is taking the mick out of, or the piss out of him. He is just a, a nice guy who, unfortunately, was had uh, something mentioned to him which makes him a bit more... To do that, he's a bit more personal. Um, Ed's fine. Uh, we haven't actually spoken for a couple of days, and I think I've kind of left him alone. Um he's had a lot going on that he needs to do and he's got work now so uh, he needs to he is awesome and his the neck jokes just make him an even bad character than he is um so let's move on to the next set of questions um what do you think the uh, supercard will do for the first year anniversary as uh, someone was saying free bouts or something like that um, I think it's going to be more than that. I believe that more cards will be released. I believe that I'll update the ladder reward structure into something else. Um, I also... F this has been rumoured for a long time because when a lot of the changes were being talked about, there was a lot of complaints about exhibition. That, that kind of died off, but there was a comment that came from Brad and Dan and uh, I believe one of the two on the forums, or the 2K forums, that basically said that they were looking into changing things, but when to, to change something as big as exhibition, they have to change the entire game. Now, if you look at it from this perspective, exhibition runs uh, Road to Glory, but I don't believe the same exhibition engine actually runs uh, Ring Domination. So it could be that they are replacing or adding a new game mode that you can play on a regular basis, um, because King of the Ring as such doesn't run off the exhibition game mode, um, but PCC and Road to Glory do, and it'd be interesting to see if they could do that. And me personally, I think that was the, they're bringing in. I also think they're going to spruce up the design a little bit because it's not changed in a year. I personally want them to do that, but I think they will as well. And I believe they may actually introduce a new event or changes to the event pros. At absolutely worst, they'll introduce a new tier. Um, I don't want them to, but I think it's going to be coming soon. Um, me personally, I don't think it's going to be there for another month and a half. I, 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 if they're going to talk about a new tier, I think they'll talk about it now. They'll be coming very soon. Um, or in Cat Daddy's language, soon. Um, what would I do? I play Supercard said, what would you do if you lost your Supercard account permanently? Um, I think I'd, I've grown up enough, or built up enough of a reputation now that I wouldn't lose it permanently unless I did something really stupid. Uh, if I lost it permanently, I'd only have my spots myself to blame. But let's just say in a fantasy world where you can't get accounts back, um, I'd probably have to start again and make a big deal of it so I can get more YouTube viewers and more Twitch viewers. And I'd have to start from the beginning. It's just how things work. You know what? It probably would actually be quite fun if that happened. But I've never been into making second accounts and stuff, so it'd be more of a personal struggle for me to get back to the level I was at. Um, in short, I'd go absolutely blooming crazy, and then I would probably calm down and just do it all again and mm -hmm. uh, get basically the speed to uh, basically make a massive complaint to Cat Daddy. Um, but it isn't going to happen. I think that if it did happen, I did lose my supercard account permanently. It would be a case that I would just get it replaced and I'd get uh, all my cards back. Um, I've already mentioned about who I think is going to win um, at SummerSlam. Um, it's going to be an Undertaker for me, and it's going to launch Lesnar into a losing streak, which is going to result in Taker taking on Cena at WrestleMania. That's me, personally. Um, what was my favourite subject at school? Okay, that's a bit more personal. Uh, for me, it was uh, English literature. I loved writing about stuff. I never really took that any further, but I used to be big into uh, writing uh, papers and uh, stories and poetry. So I used to be big into that. Other than that, there wasn't really anything else that was that fun. Um, so I, I just I loved English more. Um, I also liked, liked so psychology a lot. That was one of my, my, my more. Uh, the biggest sub sub subjects in school. I'm stuttering a lot. Yeah, uh, psychology was what I decided to take up afterwards, um, but ended up going to something completely different in terms of my work life. Um, but yeah, uh, what <laughs> someone's put in big or eight one nine. I said, "What? How long have you been playing WWE Supercard?" Um, 
you could say what length have you been playing WWE Supercard for? Um, I've been playing Supercard since the beginning, since day one. It was actually I actually found it by mistake because um, I thought the WWE Network was actually released and it wasn't. But then I stumbled across WWE Supercards on the day it was released, and here I am now. So I've been playing ever since. I took a bit. I didn't really go that hard at the beginning. I was just kind of sitting in the background, and then as Survivor Tier came along, I decided to start playing again, and eventually got to where I am now. It's been a long, long, long journey. Uh, what do I do for work if it's not personal? Um, I'm not going to tell you exactly what I do, but I am basically a broker. I uh, do a lot of stuff when it comes to financial stuff, so I'll keep that really, really short and sweet. That's what I do. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to say much else. Um, what is my best W Supercard pull off the board? Uh, right. Um, it's got to be the Nikki. Um, the Nikki I pulled off the board and the Brie Bella I pulled off the board as well. Um, so both of those, one of them is, there's actually a reaction video to because I did it live or during a stream. Um, yeah, my best supercar pull off the board, 100%, is either Nikki Bella or Brie Bella um, in a WrestleMania TIFF because they both made pros. Um, well, I'm not going to answer the one about tears so I've already spoken about. Um, what is my favourite wrestler by The Real Tornado 99? My favourite wrestler at the moment is probably Kevin Owens or Finn Balor. Um, he, they're both awesome new stars entering in. Um, my favourite wrestler was CM Punk. Uh, I just, I had a massive man crush on him. But um, he obviously doesn't do it anymore, and it seems like he's, he's setting up his first UFC fight now. Um, so I don't think he'll ever be coming back. So I personally. And big into Kevin Owens and big into Finn Balor. And I think Finn Balor is going to have a huge, huge, huge um, career in WWE. Um, right. Let's get to the last two questions. Let's do actually, let's do another three questions. Um, <laughs> does it play games? Uh, I'm not going to answer that, then, <laughs> that question. Uh, right. I've already answered Rahul's question. Another question. Um, I already mentioned Victory Seven Gamers question earlier on. Um, as as it doesn't get the idea of <laughs> what what day is. Um, Ferenc Alex, what is my favourite game apart from WWE Supercard? Mm, um, I don't really have one particular favourite game, but I'm big on Rocket League at the moment. And I always love the W2K series, but probably FIFA. FIFA probably is my next best game that I play and I play a lot of. And once uh, FIFA 16 comes out, I will be playing it quite a lot. So yeah, <laughs> uh, you expect to see FIFA videos on here as well. And probably uh, in W Supercard will be equal in how many videos come out. Um, okay, uh, so let's get two more questions. Um, what do you ask this? Oh, Jason Douglas says, what is your favorite type of food? Uh, well, my favorite type of food, I am big into pastas, anything Italian, I love. Uh, really, anything that's steak, meat-based, love it. Um, I'm just a... I don't have anything in particular that I have a particular craving for, but if you give me Italian food, I would eat it all day long. Um, to answer the question. Okay, uh, last question. Let's see who I should pick. Okay. We'll answer these questions. Uh, Stuart Ferguson, what is your dream job? Now I can answer another question afterwards. It's a long episode, so we're 23 minutes actually coming in now. Wow. Uh, what is my dream job? Uh, my dream job would be to be my own boss and to be able to do this on a regular basis. But I know it's a long way away. So the idea is, is to be able to have this channel and Twitch and everything else be healthy, have have something where I can support myself, uh, family, potential kids, you know, whatever in the future, but be my own boss instead of me having to listen to politics all the time. That would be the ideal dream job, and it's hard to get. You have to work very hard to get that. Uh, but thank you. 
And last one is Adrian Gallegos says, what is your favorite moment in WWE history? Me personally, it's going to be one of two events. And that's going to be either Kurt Angle moonsaulting off the top of the cage onto Chris Benoit and missing. That moment steps out to, stands out to me. And the other one would be CM Punk winning the WWE Championship and blowing the kiss at Vince McMahon as he left. Um, I can't say about the... My other one was Eddie Guerrero and Benoit uh, hugging, but that's kind of untainted because of what went on. Um, but yeah, Kang with the moonsault off the top of the cage onto the, the ground below. Um, and... Then CM Punk basically waving goodbye to WWE here when he won the championship for the first time back in 2011. And um, there is one other event that I would love to I'd like to mention as well is that I have been to a WWE live event in the past. Um, the very very famous Shawn Michaels versus John Cena match on WWE Raw. I went there. I loved it, and it was one of the it's the best match I've ever seen. Um, the Chris Benoit and Kyle Steel Cage match was amazing. This match was absolutely incredible, and it's the best match I've ever seen. But it didn't have one specific moment; it was just epic for what it was. And one thing you may or may not know is that they actually built that match at literally the click of a finger, and um, because Randy Orton had just been suspended um, for basically smashing up a hotel room, and they had a day pretty much to think of a, a way of recovering the match. Because it was going to be Edge versus Orton in a, in a match on the uh, Raw show in London. Um, but instead of doing that match, they decided to do John Cena, so John Cena versus Shawn Michaels. Um, and it went on for nearly an hour, if not more. Um, and that was an incredible moment. But for me, absolute top small is CM Punk blowing a kiss away. Um, that's going to be it for the first What's Day. I am going to make the videos a little bit less... Um, involved in the future uh, we'll see if we get because we're in our first king of the ring with or what I call the hell of the ring um, and we had our match against Flex Valentina which I won 2-1 so that's going to be the last bit for that um, wow I want a power and tougher toughest match interesting okay um, so yeah I, we won that match um, I will have the results for that king of the ring tomorrow for you and what I get from it uh, but this has been Super Summer God BBQ. I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you for tuning in for the first What's Day. And most importantly, Zolu.